Layla and Zaid learn about Ramadan, a children's book introducing Ramadan, by the Sincere Seeker Kids Collection, narrated by Adriana Pedersen. Layla ran to her little brother's room. She was all excited. She pointed to the calendar. Zaid, do you know what tomorrow morning is? She asked. No. What is it? Said Zaid. Tomorrow morning is the first day of Ramadan. Layla said. What's Ramadan? Asked Zaid. Ramadan is the ninth month of the Islamic calendar. Explained Layla. I'll see you for suhoor. Said Layla as she ran out of Zaid's room. Time for suhoor. Said Mom at the dining table. What's sahur, and why are we eating this early, before the sun is even up? Asked Zaid. He was still a little sleepy. Dad explained. We eat sahur before we start fasting to help us stay strong while we worship Allah during the day. Zaid thought for a moment. Then he smiled and said, "I can't wait to fast today." I'm so excited. Settle down, class. Today we will learn what fasting during Ramadan is all about and why Muslims do it," said Teacher Amal. When Muslims fast during Ramadan, it means they stop eating and drinking from sunrise to sunset. Muslims also stop doing bad things like bothering their brother or sister or not listening to their parents. The teacher explained. Ring, went the bell. Class was over. Zaid and Layla learned a lot in class. When they got home, Zaid and Layla rushed to the kitchen where Mom was cooking. They told her what they learned in school. Zaid said, "Mommy, Muslims fast during Ramadan because Allah tells us to in the Quran." And so we can get closer to Allah. Wow, you're right," said Mom as she grabbed a towel to dry her hands. Kids, it's time to read the Quran," said Dad. The whole family sat in a circle in the living room. They all opened Allah's book to read Allah's speech. Zaid looked at Dad and asked, "Dad, what's the Quran?" Dad replied. Son, the Quran is Allah's words, which came down to us in this blessed month a long time ago. We should read the Quran every day. After they finished reading the Quran, Zaid and Layla's stomach started to rumble. I'm hungry," cried out Zaid. "Me too, little brother," said Layla. Zaid and Layla asked their parents. Mom and Dad, fasting makes us think about other people that do not have as many things as we do. Can we take some food and clothes to people at the shelter who need them? Sure, that's a great idea," said Dad. Ramadan is not just about fasting; it's also about giving to people, helping others, and being good to your parents. Ramadan is about doing as much good as you can. So you can get closer to Allah and make Him happy. When they got home, Mom announced, "Time for iftar. Now that it's sunset, it's time to break our fast and then pray maghrib." The food smells delicious," said Dad as he grabbed a plate. "I can't wait to break my fast," said Zaid. "Fasting really made me thankful we have each other. Good food." And a nice home to live in," said Layla. After eating, Zaid and Dad drove down to the mosque to pray Isha and Tarawih together with family, friends, and neighbors. Masha Allah, the mosque is so full, Dad. Is this really Allah's house? Asked Zaid excitedly. Yes, Zaid. This is one of many of Allah's houses. Where Muslims come to think about Allah, pray to Him, and thank Him for all He has given us," answered Dad. At the masjid, 
the imam gave a short talk about how special the last ten days of Ramadan are and how blessed the night of power is. Zaid and Layla looked forward to the night of power so they could do extra good and earn many rewards from Allah. At home, Layla told mom she wanted to help mom decorate the house for Eid. Eid is the Islamic holiday that Muslims celebrate after the month of Ramadan ends. What a great idea this was, Layla, said mom. The house looks so much better. Zaid, Layla, and the whole family went to grandma and grandpa's house. Grandpa told everyone about his first Ramadan. He said, even though fasting at Ramadan may be hard, he always enjoys Ramadan because it brings the family closer. You always have the best stories, Grandpa, said Layla. When they get home, Layla and Zaid sat and thought about how fasting had helped them do good things, like praying Fajr on time and reading the Quran. They also agreed Ramadan helped them stop doing things they should not be doing, like sleeping too late and arguing with each other. When Ramadan ended, Zaid and Layla's family and friends got together for barbecue and fun in the backyard to celebrate Eid. Eid Mubarak to you, Layla! This gift is for you, said Zaid to his sister. He was wearing his new Eid clothes. May Allah reward you with good, Zaid. What is this? asked Layla. May Allah reward you with good too, Layla. The gift is a Ramadan board game so we can play it and remember how Ramadan helped us get closer to Allah, replied Zaid. I can't wait until next Ramadan, said Layla.